so you'll have some in clusters. Be sure to make sure that all the features are touching each other. All right, and that way they will define a, a specific space on our map. Touching each other. Yeah, but it, all the features should be touching each other. Go ahead and do that with me. Flip them over so they won't roll or anything. agriculture. So farms need water to grow things, right? And also to uh, water livestock. So you're going to want to get your farms as close as possible to your blue features water. If it's a, if it's a corporate farm, you may see the features laid out in geometric patterns like <coughs> squares and rectangles. That would make sense to me. They have to be close to water sources. How big are you going to be? A few. But remember, the bigger you make the farm, the more it's going to draw on that water source, right? Mm -hmm. So you probably want to spread your farms around so that they can all get the water that they need. There's a lot of farms. It's going to be a very heavily populated state. Look at all these cities. <laughs> they want to volunteer to hand the cities out? Say that uh, each ship represents about hundred thousand people. All right. So if you had like a triple stack, it would be a, a city of about three hundred thousand. And you want to have them close to water, so they don't run out of water. They need to be close to food, so they don't run out of food. So depending on the way the other features are arranged in the map, mm -hmm. you're going to have to choose wisely where to put these population centers. Okay. Okay. Wait until all the farms are out. So, do the cities have to be more than 1,000? Say it again. Do they have to be popular with more than 1,000? Well, at least one ship can make a city. Like well, the, the water is dense here, right? Mm -hmm. So, you can make a big farm. It doesn't seem that much water is being used for agriculture here. You know what? A good place for agriculture might be in between all this water. Especially if you have some kind of plant that demands a lot of water. You know what takes a lot of high-quality water? Baby food. Because you have to puree it, you have to make sure it's all pasteurized, pure and good, so it doesn't hurt the digestive system. That's what they make in the town where I grew up. Baby, baby food? Mm -hmm. And the company is moving out of town, so everybody's water bill is going to go up $2,700 a year. So they're very sad about that. Where, where? In Canajoharie, New York. What about jobs? Um, strangely, the place that they're moving is only a few miles away, so most of the people will be able to keep their jobs. So the major problem with them moving out is the uh, water is um, it's all on the lower places of the land, close to the south, um, I guess that would be west part of the land. And the water, Density is 94 and 94. Okay. There's 94 water features on this map. In the map. It's concentrated. It's concentrated towards the southwest part of 
the map, but af outside of that area, it's a little bit more dispersed. There's like the lakes and ponds. Okay, so it's more concentrated up here, more dispersed. The water features more dispersed out here, and it's almost absent in the. About retail centers and the exterior. The retail center as well. The pattern is that they're in between most suburban areas. Um, their density is that there's 10 retail centers and they're all dispersed, but they're closer to each suburban part. And the concentration is that the retail centers are closer to the suburbs. Okay. So you see, there is kind of a East or this would be northeast southwest pattern here, and there's some located up there. Okay. They're kind of in a line too. So there's a, a pattern, and the the feature is dispersed. It's clustered around another feature, which is the water, and again, it's included in the midwestern and middle of the state. The density it has 129 features. It has the highest density out of all of our features. And it's concentrated in the middle, and it's not very dispersed. Very good. All right, so the green features are around the water. There you go. Mm -hmm. The cities are mainly in a line and situated around water and agricultural features. And the pat the density is there's nine cities, and the concentration is it's condensed around oh, around around water and agriculture. And there's more cities on the left, or the west side of the state than the right. Very good. All right. So we see cities here, there, there, there. This is the northwest axis, so they're more concentrated to the west than they are to the east of that uh, axis. Circle around the state, like a, a pattern, and there are 53 suburbs in the state, and the suburbs they're dispersed throughout and are around the outskirts of the of the town and most of the them are concentrated in the, the east or the northeast section of the state. Okay. So there's the concentration cluster in the northeast. They are arranged in a circle, right? And they are close relative to cities and population centers. Why do you think you were doing it wrong? And I was putting them like squares like farm buildings. But I get now that it's just plants. Well, these could be organic farms, right? They're not. They're not as uh, regimented and for profit, right? That could be the farmers market stuff. So, it's a very green community. It's very organic, you know. Okay, cities. Mmm. It's good. But not everybody wants to live in the city. Some people, you know, they want some, some wide open space. They just want to drive to their job. They want to live in the country. So we need some suburbs. Who would like to spread them out? Right. 
So the suburbs, they're you know places that people work in cities drive to. So you don't want them right on top of the cities, but you don't want them terribly far away either. Any verbs over here? <coughs> Do you want some more features? Water to support our cities, we got food to support our cities, we got people who don't want to live in cities, who drive to the cities to work, you know, and we all know that the best restaurants and the best stores are in cities, but sometimes you want to go to a place that's not all the way in the city because it takes a long time to get there. So we need some retail centers. Alright. Where will they shop? So why don't you give me half that stack back? We want them to shop in the city a little bit. So okay. this is like the whole area? Yeah. Think of each one of those like Tyson's Corner. But if you want to make a lot of money, you want to put your retail area in a place that's close to a lot of suburbs or a city. Is there retail spaces in the city? Like the cities we already have. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. Like, it's like in the buildings, like usually the first floor is stuff for sale on the street. You know? Even if it's an office building, there's like a coffee shop and there's, you know, there's all sorts of stuff on the first floor. So there's like malls and stuff too, right? I don't think there's full blown malls in cities because you don't need them because you have you know, just the, what's on the corner of the corner store. It depends on your, if you're in a residential or your downtown area too. If you're like in downtown DC, um, it's touristy stuff, right? And then like, the more you move out into the residential areas, then it's like corner stores, that kind of thing. But they don't have, they may have a grocery store too, but they won't have a need for like a full blown mall in the middle of DC. Okay, so we have um, features here, your task now is to describe the pattern, density, and concentration of all five features. Is that all right? 